Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within 2. So, um, during editing, I noticed something. Something very obvious. Which may get pointed out to me before I get this video uploaded, but, um... Yeah, okay, what bench was it on? Oh, there it is. Yep, extremely obvious, plain as day. Alright then. If I'd known those were in this game and I should be looking for them, I probably would have noticed that. Then again, maybe not, who knows. <laughs> Okay, so what do we need to do now? No, I need to check the map. Well, I still need to check that. I do want to go check this. Let's follow the waypoint on this one and see exactly where this thing is. I'm also still curious about that warehouse place where I couldn't open that door. Like, what more can we do there? I am really glad the uh, haunted don't seem to respawn, though. Seems like once you clear them out, they're gone for good, so... That should make the exploration in this game fairly easy. Did I explore around over here? Oh yeah, that, that there was the workshop. The trains are over that way. Oh right, I never picked up the thing from here after the haunted attacked me. Are these things called haunted? I'm not sure if this game has a bestiary or not. It probably does. Like from the menu or something. You know, considering the large distances we have to run over, um, upgrading stamina might actually not be a bad idea. I don't think I've actually been this far before. Okay, so the Fallen Operative is in there somewhere. Oh, is this the vending machine that I got all the green gel out of before? So I have been up here. How do we get inside this building? Hmm. I mean, I, I guess we can find a key for it or something. Maybe there really are hidden keys that aren't, you know, locker keys. Okay, the rogue signal is inside there. Well, let's break this chain and see what we can find over here.
My car is a smoking. I need this worse than you do, pal. So we got a better handgun, I guess. Did did that replace our past handgun? I can't tell what that did. It did say that um, upgrades apply to all weapons from that category, so if that's the case, then I guess, you know, you, you could see finding a new weapon of that type as being an upgrade in and of itself, so I guess there wouldn't really be a reason to go back and use, you know, a weaker one, so maybe it did replace my previous handgun. Well, darn. Hold on, did I? I don't remember. Did I did I buy the um the corner kill skill? I know it said the enemy can't be aware of you when you use it, but does that just mean like they can't be actively chasing me? No, no, no. It just means they can't be actively chasing you. They can be searching for you and you can still do it. Okay, that ability is officially broken. And I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Stealth most of these things, save my ammo and stuff for the bosses and bigger enemies that I probably won't be able to stealth kill. You know, like big uh, saw blade mutant woman thing that we saw earlier. That's that's gonna make a reappearance. You know it. Oh, I didn't actually. Oh, I didn't actually pick the gun up. Okay. Well, no reason not to use it. Okay, so we still haven't discovered the source of the rogue signal. It's in that building. It has to be. There we go. I believe we found a point of entry. Is this the source of the signal? Get supplies if every cache is overrun with those things. Shit. How am I supposed to get supplies if every cache is overrun with those things? Ah, I should do it. You're not getting out of there, shit heels. James, it's Ryan. Come in. I locked a bunch of those things in the room underneath the auto body shop. I'm heading to the visitor center now. James, do you? 
you copy. Shit. There's a supply cache under here. I gotta get down there. Unfortunately, it's full of those things. I guess messing with that will probably open it up. Let's explore a little bit in here first. Also, ah, ear itches. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. Okay, there we go. Power restored. Wow. Oh, hi. Wait, that wasn't... Um, okay. So apparently sneak kills are not instant kills for all enemies. You know, I just realized... Hold on. I think I just realized why aiming is so hard in this game for me. Assuming it did that with the other gun, I'm going to test it. It might be one of the reasons. Hold on, let me... Wait. I don't know why I keep forgetting how to access the radial menu. Oh yeah, it's like every every time I try to aim, it zooms in real close to like this view that's just like right on the shoulder. It's like literal over the shoulder here. Like I don't know, like I feel like I think Resident Evil 4 did something similar. But I didn't have a problem with it in Resident Evil 4. I can aim really easily. And really well in that game, but I don't know. I, I think it zooms in too far in this game. Like the zoom was much smaller in Resident Evil 4. I think that's what makes it so difficult to aim in this game, because it just it zooms in so close. But it's also the fact that the enemy's movements are so fast and erratic. Which is why stealth really is the best option for these things. I know, Seb. Sorry about that. 
Let's switch back to the laser sided one. Like, why does it zoom in so... I mean, it's good when the enemy's at a distance. Like this? But when they're really far away from you, though, I mean, like, when they're really close to you, that just makes it hard to hit them. Okay, she's one of the worm ones. Hello, laser sight. Will you line up? Thank you. Okay, so she's kind of like a mini boss, I guess. Or at least a tougher than average enemy. Hold on, guys. I gotta be right back. Okay, let's get back to this now. I just stay patient with this. Should be able to do it no problem. That takes care of her. 1200 green gel, not bad. All right, let's get back in there and see what we could find. I still hear those things down here. I gotta do it from the other side, I guess. Or no? I mean, the handle's on this side. Oh, I had to crouch. Yeah. No, seriously, that zoom is ridiculous. Is it the same with the other gun? Like, I know! Radial menu! Okay, this one doesn't zoom in quite as far, but still, that's... Is that the problem? I think that's the problem. <laughs> Can I break this? No. There they are. Hmm, need a code for this door. Oh, 
Oh, and Union Security Card. Well, too bad I can't actually see and read that right now. What's this? Some kind of cipher? What the? Oh. Can they follow me into this tunnel? No, apparently not. Okay, hold on. Let's check the files. Or inventory? There we go. Okay, but I don't know how that helps me. What is this? Oh, right. Okay. If only you could make noises to distract them. Gotcha! Man, that ability's awesome. So wait, I, is the rogue signal gone? Oh, it is. So I guess that was the uh, signal that we found just a little bit ago. This must be what we're looking for. Glad to see those again. Right, come on over.
So hold up a minute. Am I currently where I think I am? No, I'm not. I thought maybe I found my way into the other side of that warehouse. Oh, I know where I am now. Right, this is that... Yeah, this is the building that was locked before. Well, it wasn't locked, it was actually blocked. <laughs> Okay then, so, what can we do about that locked door? Can we figure out the code to that? Let's go down there and see if anything different happens now that I have the key card. B34. Oh, okay. B... 34... Well, I mean, I, I see, you know, column B, and there's a 34 on line 5. B is the second letter in, second letter in the alphabet. Two, five, three, four? Ah, I thought I was on to something there. B34. Oh no, wait, it wait, it could also mean three four though. Wait, line three and line four. Ninety-six seventy-six? Yes! So that's how you use the cipher. Glad I figured that out so quickly. Oh, hey. I wonder if those increase your max health, too, like in the original. Didn't say anything about that, but who knows. I'll definitely save them for emergencies anyway, though. Okay, so I think that is... Everything we need to do here. So let's get back outside and get back to exploring. You know, we're getting very close to that second safe house. I might make that the ending destination of this episode. Actually, this episode's gone on for a fair bit now, I think, hadn't it? So is this the second safe house? Okay, where's that fallen operative at? He's all the way over there. Okay. Is 
Another signal. And that's the safe house. It said momentarily. Does that mean that every time I want to access the safe house, I'm going to have to use a shock bolt? Well, whatever. I'm sure there's stuff to find in here anyway. So let's do some field crafting. Make ourselves a... Oh wait, I already have a shock bolt, don't I? Yeah, I do. Resonance point. Oh. Oh! Okay, that just does not stun them sometimes. <laughs> there we go. All right, now let's get that residence point. thing that has been doing all the creepy laughing for like the last several episodes. Not sure I want to meet it. But okay, so is this is this even the safe house? It says there's a save point, a mirror and a coffee maker, but I see nothing. Oh. I now see a door. That I did not, that I did not see before. Looks like it's locked by some sort of password. What's the marrow operations? Well, so far, stealth has almost always been a better option than fighting in this game.
Anything new in here? Being the tip of the knife is a dangerous job. Hmm, William Baker's crossed off now. I mean, he did die earlier. Well, you know, I guess we should go open that locker. You just can't stay away from me, can you? Lockers, please. Whoa, I have a lot of gunpowder. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. I mean, that's a good point, you know. There are going to be bosses. <laughs> Let's increase the stamina gauge. All right then. See you next time, everyone.